It is now my pleasure to introduce retired director of bands from Melville High School, Mr. Don Kinnison, to open tonight or this afternoon's proceedings. Thank you, and thank you, Doug. Uh, on behalf of Mr. Tony Brown and his entire staff at Melville Senior High School and uh, the Melville School District, I want to thank and congratulate the MMEA Conference Selection Committee for choosing the Melville Band to perform at this year's convention. This is the band's fourth appearance on the program since 1995, and as the wind literature in the upcoming performance will attest, the Melville Band was indeed a quality selection. I think you'll agree. Um, at this time, I'd like to introduce our, very briefly our superintendent, uh, at uh, Melville uh, School District. Uh, just an all, a former band director and all around good guy, uh, Dr. Eric Knost. Thanks, Don. Uh, I've been told to keep it brief, I will, but I, I have to mention that uh, the flashback I'm having in this room to about 1995 when I was a band director at Marquette High School watching the Melville High School band perform under the direction of Don Kinnison and Tony Brown was actually a guest soloist at the time and it was a spectacular performance so just can't help remembering that. Uh, just at this time I'd like to acknowledge uh, members of our Board of Education, specifically Larry Felton that is with me today and our other uh, building administrators. Could you please stand? And also we have had a number of our music faculty and uh, private teachers and retired educators from Melville. Could you please stand? And last uh, but certainly not least, uh, if we could have our dedicated uh, Melville High School band parents who are in attendance, please stand for recognition. I'll, I'll, I'll turn it back over to Don, but I did want to say, especially to the students and the parents, that I'm honored to be your superintendent. Uh, I, I know that we're in for a really good performance, and I'm honored to be uh, leading our district in the direction of our first performing, uh, performing arts auditorium that we should break ground on this summer, and that's for you. Thank you. vertically challenged here compared to him, so I have to lower this a bit. <laughs> the degree of difficulty of the music that you're about to hear requires skilled musicianship at any age level, and ideally, individualized instruction would be a prerequisite. Private lessons, however, are costly in this economy for most families' budgets. And as for a school district's music budget, as much as I like Dr. Knost, uh, the, the response, as many of you of music educators out there, if you propose to them that we have private lessons for each of our kids, are you kidding me would be a polite response at best. Mr. Brown, being a success-driven problem solver, however, with a drive for excellence, came up with a remarkable fundraising solution. And thanks to his creative idea, the dedication of his entire staff and the love and support of his band parents and, and his band, the money they raise more than makes up for budget shortfalls. And best of all, it is providing weekly private instruction for every member of this band here today. Performance rewards, as those of you sitting here today, I know, are aware, require sacrifices, especially in the areas of time and money. The standard of excellence has been a tradition with Melville's successful band program for almost 30 years. And just a few names, if you would uh, uh, let your memories bear with me for a moment. Uh, from past and present, not noteworthy folks, especially uh, for band directors. Dr. Harry Beejan, the University of Illinois. Mr. Dennis Fisher, the University of North Texas. Dr. Tom O'Neill, the University of Missouri. Dr. Tom Lee, the University of Texas and UCLA. George Maiello, George Mason University. Dr. Victor Markovich, Wichita State University. Dr. Jim Suddeth, Texas Tech University. Colonel Arnold Gabriel, the United States Air Force Band. Dr. William Ravelli, the University of Michigan. In the areas of composers, Frank Tekeli, Elliot Del Borgo, Claude T. Smith, Andrew Boysen, and Gary Gackstetter, who was commissioned by Tony Brown and the Melville High School Band to compose one of the pieces on our program today. I saw him earlier. Mr. Gackstetter, would you please stand? And 
proud to say that each of these respected musicians, composers, and directors that were just named either have judged, clinicked, and or clinicked and commissioned to compose original music for this program. Granted, the talent and caliber does not come cheap, but quality instruction and quality music, however, helps produce quality student performance. And I know the question comes up, but can we afford it? That response is always one that is a challenge for us as directors. Well, perhaps I would like for us to consider a minute the true cost of preparing for and attending just one marching band contest. What's the true quality of that music education experience versus this, especially for your kids by the third, fourth, fifth marching band contest? How many times have you gone back to that bus with questionable criteria in your hands and opinions that baffled, disappointed, and even demoralized students and parents and even yourselves on some nights? Even successful trophy chasing results, what is the true intrinsic music value? All of this may just provide you something to think about, food for thought on your drive back home, and hopefully safely in good weather, and uh, the return to the reality of your own music classroom, your goals, and the quality of music ed you'd like for your own students to experience as we come up on the spring season. The fact that you are here today definitely attests to the fact that hopefully there is going to be more to your program than just what goes on in the fall, and that's important for your kids and for music education. And, on, and, it's, and it is indeed quite an opportunity to be selected to perform on this stage. And it does perform, it does possess some tough hurdles and tough challenges to get here. If the desired end result is an extrinsic trophy, it's likely the task will be insurmountable. It's also a challenge to sound in January like you want them to sound in May. Still, I believe with all my heart that the intrinsic educational and musical benefits to this journey to get to perform here at the MMEA convention are just incomparable. And to this, I can attest firsthand. So now I'll sit down so that you can please sit up, listen, and just plain enjoy this performance. And it is with great joy, humility, respect, and admiration for what's been done with this program that I now introduce to you under the direction of Mr. Tony Brown, the Melville High School Honor Band. Thank you.